Hello viewers, welcome to your show, Aussiewood Hard Talk, powered by Cool Life TV. My name is Victoria Mayuen, your host. Before I proceed, um, Cool Life TV would like to acknowledge the traditional custodian of the land which we are meeting in today, the Wajak people of the Ngo Nation. We would like to pay our respect to the elders past present. Um, today with me in the studio, uh, we have a special guest at KTV. It is someone who became the first Afro Aussie to win Golden Buzzer. Um, at Australian Got Talent in 2022. With that smile, someone might say that Imo was born a comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Imo Majo. Hey, <laughs> we got it. Exclusive at how are you today, Imo? I'm good, thank you. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. Good That's... to be here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, kindly introduce yourself, where you were born, and how you ended up in this beautiful country, Australia. My name is Imo Majuk. Um, full name is Emmanuel Gretsch Majuk. I am uh, based in Perth, and we came here as migrants back in 1996 on refugee status um, to Perth, uh, Australia. Um, so yeah, that's how we came to be in Australia. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, Imo, um, why comedy? Why comedy? Because um, I've always um, was referred to as like the class clown. I always was the one that was making people laugh. And up until maybe the last seven years, I didn't even know that comedy was even an option for me until my good friend Joe White actually started doing it. And um, I did my first open mic and then the rest was history. It's amazing. There's always someone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us about some um, some of the challenges that you face in your life. My life. Uh, well, first we we moved around a lot. Um, starting off with when we were born, I was born in Ethiopia, and um, the the war happened in Ethiopia, and we fled to Kenya, and we were lucky enough to get sponsored and brought over to Australia when I was eight years old. And um, so English was uh, was was one of the difficulties. Like we we came into a new land which wasn't ours. Mm -hmm. We uh, had no English in our vocabulary. We learned everything from scratch. Came here with nothing. And um, yeah, so the, the the onus was on us to make something out of this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So so we, we began to venture out and do that. So amazing. Um, so and how did you overcome those challenges? Challenges of being broke or I go I mean, challenges land. of new land and English land. and things. Well, when we first came here, there wasn't that many Africans here. Mm. <clears throat> there must have been, I think, maybe 20 African families. Yeah. We were the African community. Um, over time, we got more and more Africans. Um, mm. uh, and with the English and learning how to, like with the studies and educating ourselves, we got to get into the workforce. And like basically, we got an opportunity to d discover what it was that we wanted to do. And I, I didn't know for a very long time. Um, I, I worked in laboring. I had a few odd jobs. My first job was working for McDonald's, uh, flipping burgers. Um, these were all just life life lessons. Like I learned how to communicate and talk to people. I was always a friendly, gl glass um, half full kind of guy. Um, yeah, like just life lessons brought me to where we are right now. So yeah. Okay, amazing. So when did you come to Australia exactly? 1996, uh, November. It's a very long time. Yeah, I had just turned eight a few months prior. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so Imo, we're gonna go. Um, we'll be going on a short break. Before we go on a short break, can you please give us some live performance? Live performing? Yeah, yeah. like some comedy. Ah, uh, to, to do that, you're gonna have to look online. I do come to Perth a lot, yeah. and I've noticed the African community is not show up to my shows. Yeah. So this is your chance to come and watch me live, yeah. rather than getting a snippet. So. Yeah. Yeah. So give us like a, 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 a little tiny bit only. I'll be giving stuff away. I, I think the best way we can support each other is by coming live and coming and seeing me live because there has been less than 1% of African community coming to my shows. Yeah. White people have been supporting my career. Yeah. So this is the time for us to band together and, and not wait until someone yeah. gets discovered and be like, yeah, that's one of ours. Yeah. Come out right now while yeah. the hard work is being done. Yeah. So. And this is why we do what we do at Skate, um, Cool Life TV, you know, to yeah. bring the best out there, to bring um, our people in the Afro community who are doing an amazing job because yeah. um, without this information, nobody will know. Exactly, you know? yeah. So, yeah. And I think it's very important as well because um, yeah. uh, when I did the Australia's Got Talent, I saw the, an, abund uh, an abundance of support mm 
yeah. come from the African community. Yeah. Uh, people were messaging and yeah. uh, the, the support was there, yeah. but that didn't translate into seeing them out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I'm doing this not for myself, yeah. but for us. Exactly. So, so I think the yes. best support we can do for each other, yes. just like I'm yes. here, um, uh, I think the best thing we can all do is just mm -hmm. like support each other, yeah. not from a distance, but from, yeah. uh, from up close and personal. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. A very quick joke. Just for KTV. I'm a sta if you know anything about stand-up comedy, <laughs> yes. it, it, it's not a matter of like knock knock. No, no, I, know. I, I, I set up yes. the, the platform yeah. and I tell stories, and okay. the best way you can get the best out of that is by being at the show and actually getting okay. the full experience of it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not an actor. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a storyteller. Because so. there might be someone today that's watching you for the first time. Exactly, and she, yeah. you should come to yeah. my show. So you need to give them a, a bit of a sneak that's not so they know. That's not how stand-up works. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. But how how can we support you best? Best way to support is um, I, I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for money. The best way you can support is by coming to the show. Like um, uh, there's there's nothing stronger than strength of numbers. Yeah. So when people come to a comedy show and they see, uh, for example, I a black guy performing mm -hmm. and they see that there's a black community supporting that black person, mm -hmm. that shows strength in numbers. Yeah. But when you come to the show and you see my room is predominantly full of just white people or Asians or other different nationalities, yeah. it's like the community isn't backing, backing me. Definitely. Yeah. The best way we can support each other is by, like, yeah. I, I myself would prefer to eat at, a, at an Ethiopian restaurant than go to an Asian one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. That's my support to the to yeah. the Ethiopian community. Yeah. So like, the best way we can support is by being there live you know, mm. instead of buying a keyboard. Like, um, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And I feel like there's like a bit of a barrier here, you know, like information, you know, like we, yeah. we, um, like we don't see this information out there. So now, oh, that's um, not now true. that we know. That's not true. Like we, I, I, I've got, Almost twenty seven thousand Instagram followers, and a lot of them are black. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the information is there. I post every single show I'm about yeah. to do. Like yeah. I don't keep it a secret. Like everyone yeah. knows I'm about to do a show. Yeah. Um. Uh. The best way we can actually support each other is just by being mm -hmm. their life. Yeah. Like I, 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 I go watch live football because yeah. of my support for the person that I support. Yeah. I go to a restaurant because of my support of the person that has a restaurant. Yeah. And I come to a podcast studio because of the support of yeah. the people that's doing the podcast studio. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the best way you can support is by being there. Yeah, definitely. Please, guys, let's support each other. And that's the only way we can thrive as a community and as just Australian as well. Yeah. Um, hello viewers, um, we're going to take a short break. Um, if you have any business or um, an event that you'd like to promote, please get in contact with us. We'll promote for you with a reasonable price. Um, so Emil, please let's go on a short break. We'll yeah. be right back. Sounds good. <laughs> My refugee uh, senses are tingling. Uh, does anyone want to be wasting food up here or something? <laughs> Recently, my mom's been calling me Golden Boy ever since I got the Golden Buzzer. When you said Blacktown. Is that actually a town here? It is a town. I was like, ooh, that sounds... There's a lot of white people in here tonight. White people make some noise. You way more privileged than that. I said, white people make some noise. Man, growing up as a kid, I used to think that white people got up every single morning happy because they're white. <laughs> nah, seriously. Like, you find yourself in your bathroom, you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> then you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror coming up, <gasps> and you're still white. <laughs> oh, this is a good day for me. I should go out there and be somebody. Uh, my best friend, he's white, and because of the differences in culture, sometimes it leaves room for ignorance. I got a phone call from, uh, from him back in Perth uh, about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, hello? Uh, Emo, Wags here, 40 degree weather, perfect for kite surfing. Um, so welcome back, Emo. Hey, good to be back. Yeah, let's talk personal. Okay. Um, so who inspires you the most? Who inspires me the most? Yeah. Um, uh, in terms of artist, family, or... It can be anyone. It can be anyone. Um, I'm best inspired by Dave Chappelle. Like Dave Chappelle is probably one of the best comedians that's ever lived. Um, uh, I, I like how he pushes the envelope. He doesn't shy away from the truth. He doesn't mm -hmm. shy away from freedom of speech. So like I very much like idolize Dave Chappelle. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. But my family also inspires me as well. Yeah. Like A lot of my material comes from 
like family events, family experiences, mm-hmm. being a father, like it, it, all of it is inspiration. So, mm-hmm. so you are father of how many? Father, father of three. Father of three, yeah, amazing, three, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so how do you deal with um, you know after winning the golden buzzer, you know your face was everywhere and stuff. So how do you deal with women and your fans? I well, I myself, I, I stay focused and I stay working. So like, yeah. um, uh, there's no time for women right now. I'm yeah. touring all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, since the season aired last year, I've probably spent but maybe three months in, in Perth mm-hmm. um, over the last year. So mm-hmm. I like I, I I've got bookings everywhere, so I'm always constantly on the move. So there's yeah. no time for distractions. So yeah, yeah. definitely stay yeah. focused. Stay focused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how do you deal with like, um, for example, negative comments and discrimination? Negative comments. I've been getting them all my life. Like yeah. that means nothing to me, especially yeah. if it's on like on on social media. Mm-hmm. Social media is not a real place. So like it doesn't move that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean nothing to me. Mm-hmm. Besides, you only just increase my algor- algorithm. So yeah. like it doesn't mean nothing to me. Like everyone, you know, no one's gonna ever be liked by everyone. Definitely. Like, like Jesus. There's always that one. Jesus had enemies. Yeah. You know what I mean, like mm-hmm. Jesus was damn near perfect, and and someone hated him. Yeah. Right? So yeah. like, you can, you're not you're never gonna get everyone to love you, mm-hmm. and um and the, the the sooner you accept that, yeah. and as long as you do right by people and um uh, and do the right thing, I, mm-hmm. I think all you can do is your best. So yeah, 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 that's amazing. Um, so um, okay, with you being so busy traveling and stuff, so how do you maintain your um general well-being and mental health? Um, well, I, I I take long walks. When I'm back, I, I have a ritual. I go to the river um, uh, every every Sunday. I um, I, I, I read. I, like I, I I write. I'm, I'm outside a lot. So when I'm on cruise ships, I'm, I'm on the top deck, mm-hmm. like just soaking in the sun, the, yeah. just the sea. Um, yeah, like I, I I generally like try to like just try to maintain what it is that I can for myself mm-hmm. um, in terms of like just knowing that. This, this could all go away at any any point. Yeah. Just appreciate what's happening right now, and just be the best version of yourself that you can, and mm-hmm. just like protect your protect your mind and your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Um, so la- now let's talk favorites. Um, what's your best color? What's my uh, my best color? Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of something like a black. Yeah, black. <laughs> yeah, black. Okay. Black is uh, oh, oh, for sure my favorite color. Whether it's in the, on the people or whether it's on me, like black is my favorite color. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Food? Food. Um, I love African food. I love Ethiopian food especially. Yeah. Um, I'm a big burger fan. I make a great steak. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a great chef, um, not to toot my own horn, yeah. but I've lived by myself for a very long time and I, mm-hmm. uh, I often cook um, yeah. a lot. So like uh, steak, mm-hmm. burgers, I love hot dogs. I love all the bad stuff, but yeah. I, I, do, I do love Ethiopian food and like mm-hmm. home cooked food as well, yeah. like uh, the traditional Sudanese food, um, mm-hmm. uh, just any African food in general. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I know you've mentioned that you were born in Ethiopia. So what, where are your ancestors from? From South Sudan. Like, oh, South Sudan. Uh, this, this is South Sudan all over. Like this, oh. there is not. If you did a DNA test on yeah. the right, there'll be not a, a drop of Ethiopian. Yeah. Like, we were in Ethiopia because of the war. Um, I can see uh, from the teeth. Yeah. South Sudanese yeah. have the best teeth. Yeah. You know those white teeth. Yeah. My family yeah. fell from Sudan when the war happened. Yeah. And, and, and we're yeah. in Ethiopia um, mm. uh, in the refugee camp. There's no yeah. Ethiopia in me. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Um. So, best fruits. Uh, pineapple, watermelon. Oh, I, I sound that the stereotypical. Like I, I love cherries, um, grapes. Um, uh, yeah, like, all the expensive fruits. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Like pineapple can be quite cheap. Pineapple as well. are expensive. Yeah. Nah, and, like, like cherries and stuff. Cherries are expensive. Yeah, like watermelon. You can get like watermelon yeah. for like three dollars yeah. a kilo. So like I think yeah. you can get away with that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I okay. like. Okay. Best drinks. Um, Sunkist is my favorite favorite mm. drink. Um, Sunkist. Um, I've been drinking a little bit of Coca Cola as yeah. of recently, but yeah. that's because I gave up coffee. So oh. I'm getting my caffeine from like, yeah. yeah. Okay, I love coffee. I wouldn't yeah. give it up for anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have no reason why I have to be up um, yeah. early in the morning. Um, I, I left my laboring job a long time ago. Mm. So, um, okay. but caffeine is just, yeah. like, I'm, I'm up. Let, let me just put myself up a yeah. little bit. Because most of your show are like in the night. Yeah, my, my, you can like sleep my, in. my, my, my work shift starts at night time. Yeah, like yeah. Mine's a, it's a night time job. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Music? Um, Hip hop, R&B. Yeah. Um, I, I love Kendrick, Tupac, all the greats, Jay-Z. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, like I'm a big hip hop head. Um, uh, big fan of Eminem as well. 
Yeah. Um, just just all the greats. Like I love hip hop and R and B. I love some soul as well. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, best movies. Best movie. Um, I'm an action flicks type of guy. So yeah. anything by like Denzel, um, yeah. Mark Wahlberg, um, Will Smith. Before he had that little slapping accident. Yeah. Uh, and I still love Will Smith. I watch Bad yeah. Boys too. I can't wait for Bad Boys Three. Yeah. Um, I love comedy, comedy flicks as well. And yeah. from time to time, I love a romance as well. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah, like I like all the movies. Like I, I like a bit of every genre. So. Yeah. yeah. So you know, speaking of that slapping accident, what's your thought? Uh, he had no business on that stage. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think he's he, he paid the price for it. Mm -hmm. And w like we're forgetting that Will Smith did yeah. so much more mm. than um, that slap. So yeah. like. W I think eventually, I think we should have already forgiven him by now. Definitely. We've already made fun of him. We've, yeah. we've done that. It's time mm -hmm. to let go. Yeah. Um, I, he, he became human for a split yeah. second. Yeah. So, I, so I think we should all remember that we've all messed up at some point. Yeah, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We all deserve a second yeah, chance. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, So best books? Best books? Um, I, I started reading this book um, uh, by Sun Tzu, but I, I've only just got into it, like just, just a little bit of it, like The Art mm -hmm. of War. But um, I did enjoy like um, I, I read a little bit of Harry Potter like during like my, my high school phase. Yeah. But as far as like um, books like f like fifty eight uh, fifty uh, fifty brought out the forty eight laws of um, power. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I got into that a little bit, but I haven't finished anything that I've started when, in terms yeah. of books. I, I easily get distracted and come up with like a joke or something, and then I start writing that. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. What's your type of car? Like, what's your favorite car? My type of car? Um, it's a strange one because when I was at my peak of like doing laboring, um, yeah. like work, not like when I was working, I had like a full time job. Mm -hmm. I, I had like a sub convertible. I love that car. And my mm -hmm. friend crashed it. Um, yeah, I know. And it's, it's, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't, don't, you know don't give you your are. car keys to your friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, but since then, I haven't really gotten myself like a fancy car i've gotten yeah. myself a nice car mm -hmm. uh, that can get me from where i need to get to but like yeah. i'm not that much of a car head right now yeah. my primary focus is uh making sure that this comedy thing pops off so yeah definitely um you know the older we get we have like priorities yeah yeah, yeah. exactly like, yeah. Uh, like don't get me wrong when i mm. when the, when 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 this career takes off like yeah. I, I i'm like i, I want to find things in life but right yeah. now I'm, I'm very focused on tunnel vision like yeah. uh, every, everything is going into um like the career and, and, and family so yeah. yeah so let's talk um tech now um apple phone or android phone <laughs> Android and uh, you Apple people need to listen. You, <laughs> they keep treating us like we've got a disease. Like, <laughs> are you ever try to give someone like you? I tried to giving um someone to, to enter the Instagram, and so, as soon as I saw that I had an Android, they looked at me like it was dirty. Like <laughs> we are lepers. We treat we treated like bad people. I'm an iPhone. Uh, my yeah, boss I'm, is always telling me get rid of your yeah, iPhone. Yeah, my, you need my, Android. And then finally, I dropped my phone the other day. Oh, and I said God. to him, you know what? My phone just committed suicide because you're always picking yeah. on my phone. You got Android now? No, I fixed it. I fixed the screen. Uh, yeah. I still have iPhone. Yeah. I, it's so hard to move from iPhone to yeah, Android. Yeah, I know. But I, I've, I've had both. Yeah. I've had both. And, yeah. Um, I, I think I'm too old to change now. Yeah? So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. Um, so Apple computer, Microsoft. Computer. I, I Microsoft, yeah. Microsoft. I, okay. I do want an Apple computer though. Yeah. Because the software for editing is a lot yeah. uh, better. Okay. For like my comedy clips and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So SUV cars or sport cars? Uh, SUV. SUV. Yeah. Okay. The auto or manual? Manual. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, I like a, sh uh, a gear shift. Yeah. So can you open your car bonnet in one minute? My car bonnet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah th okay. But as far as there's no point of why I'm opening because I yeah. don't know what else to do after that. Oh. But I can definitely open it within one minute. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. It's just what happens after that is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um electrical cars or petrol cars? Um if I had the the cap financial capital, I'd yeah. get an electric car. Electric car. Yeah. I've been inside of a Tesla. And that's that's, that's wow. next level stuff. Yeah. 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 It, for some reason, it looks way bigger inside when you get in there. Yeah. So yeah. 
All right. So um, so traveling by sea or plane? Plane for sure. Yeah. But I travel by sea more than I. I, I do 50 50. Yeah. Because I do cruise ships as well, but I have to fly to where the ship is. Yeah. So I fly from Perth to Sydney or Perth to Brisbane or Perth to Cairns. Yeah. Only just to get onto a ship. Yeah. To come back, to get on a plane, to come back home. Yeah. But I do prefer planes. No, I prefer ships actually. Yeah. Because like, it's a it's a floating hotel. Mm -hmm. You you can there's like there's gym, there's um, there's a bed, showers, casino, there's everything that you'd find at a hotel. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you're moving at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And and then all the restaurants as yeah. well. Like it's I I think C actually. Yeah. Yeah. Where in the plane you sit in one place. You sit in one place. Yeah. 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 I think I prefer by by, by ship. Yeah. So now let's play IQ game. Okay. So you know how you say your name is Emmanuel, right? Your full name, your actual name is Emmanuel, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Can you please um, spell that backward in in five seconds? Um, L E U. No, no, backward. Yeah, that's what I was doing. L E U. Yeah. Um, N A M M E. Yeah, that, that was really good. Yeah, yeah your <laughs> brain is working very well. <laughs> Thank you, the Golden Celebrity, uh. aka Imo Majuk. For coming to Aussie Wood Hard Talk. Um, I hope this topic was not too hot for you. Um, we hope to see you again in Cool Life Studio. Um, we have a token gift for you and um, I'll get you to read it yourself. Right. What it says, it's not much, you but it's gift, something that you can keep for memories. Thank so you. I would like you to read it to the audience. What All it right, says. Here we go. Yeah. I love myself, which I do, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one I'd rather spend more time with than by myself. Um, uh, not because I'm a narcissist, but because I travel alone. And also be kind, which should yeah. be a nice reminder to everyone to always yeah. be, kind. be kind. It doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, it's free. Be kind. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, so that's something you can take. Thank you. Um, we've got I, like a I, gift card in I there. I appreciate that. Yeah. Any word of advice for our viewers or for Cool Life TV? Any word of advice? Say? Consistency. Yeah. Um, just yeah. consistency. If you're starting anything new, just always stay consistent, stay true to yourself, and uh, the longer you do something, the better you get. And yeah. you, you can apply that in any level of your life, whether yeah. you just want to study nursing or you want to um, learn how to ride a bike or you want to take up comedy or you want to like learn how to sail. Consistency. Just sticking at it, you gradually get better at it. So yeah, consistency. A lot of people give up before yeah. they can get better, mm -hmm. and I think the longer you stick at something, that the more anything's possible because yeah. practice makes perfect so yeah. yeah and also be kind like yeah. like, like a mug says yeah. yeah thank you so much that's an amazing advice um, um for those who are out there who wanted to pursue their comedy um career or wanted to get into australian got talent show what advice would you give them um, like I said, with consistency, like uh, the, the longer you do something and the, the, the more practice you, you, um, that you put in, you'll get better. Um, Australia's Got Talent was a, is, is a prime example. Like, mm -hmm. I stay working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working all the time. Mm -hmm. I had just finished doing a festival in Melbourne. I flew to Sydney to go do a show in Sydney. And the Australia's Got Talent judges, like a scout, was in the audience. Mm -hmm. And because I stay ready all the time, I, I make sure I give my best performance just by luck someone of some value was in the audience yeah. and they got my details from the booker and the booker gave me my email he called and my number he yeah. called me up he said hey my name is um from australia's got talent would you be interested in doing the, yeah. the show and i was like yeah. yeah but that's because i stay ready i stay yeah. consistent i stay working so just if you if you're prideful about something and you you really do love and passionate yeah. and you really do want it you'll find a way to make sure that you always give it as much of your time as possible yeah yeah so how about for those who wanted to follow you on your social, how can they follow you? Oh, very simple. My yeah. socials is my name, just Ema Majuk. Yeah. Um, so that's E-M-O, last name Majuk, M-A-J-O-K, um, on all platforms. Um, you can follow me anywhere, just don't follow me on. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, okay. that's, that's on all, same with my website as well, yeah. uh, Ema Majuk, yeah. like, dot com. Um, okay. It's just Ema Majuk, yeah. Okay. So viewers, we've now come to the end of our show. Um, so if you have a business or event that you'd like to promote, please get in contact with us. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share, follow and like.
Um, my name is Victoria Mayue, your host. Bye for now.